I know that many of you are moving to Canada this upcoming fall. Well, in this video, we're gonna be talking about the biggest culture shocks you might want to know about before moving to Canada. So if you want to be prepared for your move to Canada, watch this video till the very end and let's get started. The price you see on the tax is never the final price because the taxes are simply not included in Canadian prices. If you see that something costs 9.99 cents, that means that the final amount will be 1.2 dollars and the taxes they vary from province to province. Normally it's around 15% sales tax, so you will need to add those 15% to everything you see. At first it is super complicated, you're like, why? But in my country, like everything is included, what's going on? But trust me, after a year or maybe even less, you'll be adding those 15% automatically. Literally, you drop a number in the comment section and I'll tell you what would be the final price. It is that easy. But at first, it is super annoying. But it depends on the product. Some products or whatsoever, they would say, that's the final price, whatever, I don't need no more. But in 99.9% .9 of the cases, it will say plus taxes with a tiny tiny phone. The second thing that shocked me a lot was the variety of fruits, of vegetables, of food in the supermarket. And I realized that only after moving to Portugal. When I come to a supermarket in December thinking of making a fig and prosciutto pizza and people tell me, Yulia, but figs are not like... you cannot find them. I'm like, why? They're like, well, because they only are available in August. And I'm like, but why? In Canada, literally any time of the year you can find fresh produce. And it's not like GMO whatsoever. They export it. Like if you want a passion fruit, a dragon fruit, a, like physalis, whatever, you name it, you will find it in most of the cases, in Canadian supermarkets. And if you can't, there are so many authentic restaurants in Canada. We're not talking about smaller cities, we're talking about like big cities, Montreal, Toronto, maybe even Ottawa, Vancouver. So many good restaurants that are run by those people from those countries. For example, in Lisbon there is no good Japanese ramen because I'm guessing no Japanese people moved to Lisbon. We found one. In Canada, I can name you, like, a lot. Because a lot of Japanese move to, let's say, Vancouver, and then from Vancouver they move to other cities. So there are a lot of authentic food available. The next thing was super interesting as well, and it's the absence of stray animals. In Russia, we have so many animals on the streets. And if we don't, that means they are shot or whatsoever, because people in Russia, they don't care about stray animals. In Canada, people take care of them. There are a lot of shelters, there are a lot of lines. You can call and be like, hey, there is a stray owl. It literally happened to me. I was walking down the street and I saw an owl downtown Montreal. So people call them and be like, can you please take the owl? I think she was going to see Harry Potter, but she decided to stay in Montreal for some time. You will literally never see a stray cat, a stray dog, and if you see a cat on the street, most likely the cat will have a collar and it's someone else's cat going for a promenade for a walk because there are literally no stray animals. And if you want to get a pet, like in Russia, you would literally go outside like, oh, here's a kitten, I take the kitten, okay, I have a cat now. That's what I did to my cat. I was literally walking home from school, I was like, oh, the guy gives away the kittens. I take. In Canada, you will need to apply, you will need to go to a shelter, there is a whole selection process. they like, I don't know if you can take good care of the cat. So there's like a whole competition to get an animal. This is very surprising to me. This is very nice. There are no homeless cats, dogs whatsoever. Canadians love maple syrup. And that's not a stereotype. That's not like a joke. That's, that's the reality. Actually, hold on a second. Literally, in every household, you will find the maple syrup because that's that's a must just like when i moved to canada i was like do they actually eat drink whatever do they 
put this on bacon waffles like whatsoever they do they do we do <laughs> no i mean maple syrup is just awesome and you'll get used to that stuff if you're enjoying this video so far don't forget to like share and subscribe and by the way subscribing to this channel is absolutely free so if you ever change your mind you can always unsubscribe but please don't miss Yulia gonna be very sad the next word you will need to memorize to remember and the word is washrooms if you go to other countries don't ever say washrooms because a washroom is a canadian word and every time we went to states we're like oh where's the washroom they're like who washroom they're like bathroom i'm like yeah that one so in states they would say bathroom they would say restroom but never a washroom but also don't say lavatory or loo i know many of us have learned british english in schools but don't ever use that word lavatory loo washroom you just go there to wash your hands easy easy another big culture shock i'd say for me was how clean canada is and that people take good care of everything they would recycle they would clean after the pets in russia in portugal you can find shit everywhere you have to literally walk and like look in front of you because the dog poop is everywhere in canada even if it's a tiny you know poop poopy thing they will clean people will clean people will recycle if let's say i'm walking with a glass container i will go and recycle it in the glass thingy i will not just like you know throw it away it takes time to get used to that stuff because when i moved to canada i came from russia we do not recycle there like at least eight years ago it was not a thing i was like but uh, how do i do there are a lot of guides online if you google how to recycle in canada how to recycle in quebec how to recycle in british columbia there are guides that are saying for example green beans are for plastic that are for like i don't know aluminum blue beans are for like paper cardboard whatsoever black ones are just waste so please don't be too hard on yourselves you'll get used to that stuff as well another thing that you need to know before moving to canada is that people are genuinely super polite they will hold the doors for you that was for me like are you holding the door for me this is so cute but then i realized people just do that overall there is no like why would i do that like whatever they just do that even if you're walking somewhere behind they will literally stand like this and like hold the door for you and it's super nice to be honest with you same with that stereotype about canadians always say sorry they do they do because they're super polite people i've never met like a rude canadian or whatsoever for sure they exist but most of the people are super nice super polite so please be polite too because if you come into canada and you're rude and you whatsoever no good no good my friend another big shock for me was that people are so free honestly that was like what like they can do whatever they want they can say whatever they want they can dress they can like dye their hair like purple pink whatever they're not judged because nobody cares again i have a background of living in russian federation where you dye your hair a different color they'll be like oh she's a psycho i think she's cuckoo in canada like i love how free people are doesn't matter your skin color your weight your height your whatever people are people they do whatever they want and it's so beautiful i just i i can't it's like people are so different you will need time to adjust that stuff because i think when i moved i was like oh they're gonna look at me they're gonna think this that now i'm like i don't give a shit like whatever i'm a free woman i do whatever i want if i want my hair green i want my hair green so it's a bit of a change i would say in the mindset and the mentality but again it will come naturally because at first you'll be also like what are these people doing but then you'll be one of them one thing that i've learned the hard way was that foreign experience who cares about that when i was trying to find a job in canada they were like oh but if you have like canadian work experience i'm like i don't they like 
we'll call you later. If you have no Canadian work experience, it gets harder to get a job. But the thing is, if let's say you worked in big companies, let's say you worked for Zara in Italy and then you moved to Canada, you can apply and say, I worked for Zara because people in Canada know what's that. As for me, I worked in an agency. I came to Sephora to work as a makeup guru, whatever. We can see, yeah, that didn't happen. So the hiring managers were like, what is this agency? And what's it? Not in Moscow. I'm like, yeah, yeah. And they're like, so it was a bit hard to find a job without the Canadian work experience, but also without the related work experience. So for example, if you're in school now and if you're planning to come to Canada in a year or two, start working now. I'm saying this in every single video, get that work experience now. So when you come to Canada, you'll find a job easily. And the biggest shock for me was that people are always smiling. People are super nice. I've mentioned that before. They will literally be always smiling. The thing is, when I came to Canada, I was like, why are they smiling? Like, uh, in Russia we say, you smile for no reason, you like uh, cuckoo, you know, everything is cuckoo in Russia, if it's not by the standards. The next time I came back home, all the friends were like, why are you smiling? Like, what's so funny about that? And the, the smile, like, this attitude is so contagious, I don't know, like... I don't know. Honestly, if you look at me five years ago, I'll be like this all the time because why would you smile? But now I'm like, Canada. So again, if you see a person and the person is smiling at you, they just having a good day. They're like happy to be alive, to see you. The weather is nice or whatsoever. So it's all good. It's all good. You'll be like that too. And this is it for today. If you like this video, don't forget to watch this one I prepared for you. And I see you guys next week. Bye.